hello everyone welcome to solve this nice math olympiad algebra problem so if we have x multiplied by x minus x multiplied by x multiplied by x is equals to 36 and we solve this problem for all the values of x so here we need to find all the roots of this equation uh, and i hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now here uh, we move toward the solution of this problem and very first thing we are going to do is here you see that x is multiplied by x and it will be written as x square minus this x is multiplied by x with three times and it will be written as x cubed is equals to 36 and you see here this equation will becomes a, a cubic equation so it means that this equation has a, 3 or less than or equals to 3 roots so here we need to find all that roots of the given equation so here we uh, rewrite this equation as this is x square minus x cubed is equals to this is 36 and we break this 36 as 27 plus 9 we know that 27 plus 9 becomes here 36 further we write our right hand side uh, into the form of prime factors uh, so we know about that the prime factors of uh, 27 are 3 cubed and the prime factors of 9 are 3 square and, and now here in the next step we move uh, all the terms from right hand side to the left hand side and it will be written as x square minus x cubed this is 3 cubed when we move it into the left hand side it will becomes minus 3 cubed and this is plus 3 square when we move it into the left hand side it will becomes minus 3 square and this whole equation is equals to 0 and further in the next step uh, we need to make the pair of square term with square term and cubic term with cubic term so here first we make the pair of square term so the square term here x square minus 3 square and the cubic terms are these are the two cubic terms here we need to take common minus 1 from here and when we take common minus 1 we get the remaining values are x cubed plus 3 cubed and this whole equation is equals to 0 and further uh, in the next step here uh, we need another two nice formulas so here the first formula is if you have a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b and the second the uh, formula be the cubic formula and you know about that if we have a cube plus b cubed is equals to a plus b times of a square minus a b plus b square so here we need uh, these two formulas to solve the above equation and when we apply these two formulas our above equation uh, should be written as this is x square minus 3 square and it will be written as x minus 3 times of x plus 3 and minus this is x cubed plus 3 cubed and here we apply this formula and it will be written as x plus 3 times of x square minus x into 3 plus 3 square and this whole equation is equal to 0. And now here further in the next step we need to take common x plus 3 from here and when we take common x plus 3 we get the remaining values are from here we get x minus 3 and minus from here we get this is x square minus 3x plus this 3 square becomes 9 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and further in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as here uh, we need to divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write x plus 3 equals to 0 and the second case is we write x minus 3 and here we multiply this negative sign on each of these values and it will be written as uh, minus x squared this is minus times minus becomes plus 3x this is minus times plus 9 becomes minus 9 and this whole equation is equals to 0 so from here we uh, we get the value of x is equals to this is plus 3 and when we move it into the right hand side it will becomes minus 3 this is the uh, first real root of the given equation and now from here uh, we need to simplify the terms 
and uh, here uh, we first add or subtract the like terms so here first we have this is minus x square and this is x plus 3x becomes here 4x minus 3 minus 9 becomes minus 12 and this whole equation is equals to 0 so now this equation will becomes uh, into the uh, quadratic form but this is not uh, standard form so here first we need to write this into the standard form and for this we are multiplying both of the sides by minus 1 and when we multiply by minus 1 of this equation it will be written as uh, x square minus 4x plus 12 is equals to 0. So here uh, we need to write this equation uh, into the uh, uh, here we because this is the quadratic equation and we know about that there are three methods to solve the quadratic equation in which the first method is factorization method second one is computing square method and third one is by applying the quadratic formula so here we need to use the quadratic formula to solve this problem for this we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to minus 4 and c equals to 12 and we state the quadratic formula as x is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so this is the our quadratic formula and here in the next step we need to substitute all the values of uh, a b and c in this nice formula so here uh, when we substitute all these values here it will becomes x is equals to this is minus b the value of b is minus 4 plus minus square root of b square so b is minus 4 square uh, and minus 4 times of ac the value of a is 1 and c is 12 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 and now here in the next step uh, we need more simplifications and it will be written as x is equals to this is minus times minus becomes plus 4 and plus minus square root of here we have minus 4 square becomes plus 16 4 times of 12 becomes minus 48 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 equals to 2. So when we subtract both of these two values it will be written as 4 plus minus square root of 16 minus 48 becomes minus 32 divided by 2. So here we need to apply this square root separately on both of these two values on negative sign and 32. So now further uh, we write this 32 as 16 multiplied by 2 we know that 16 times 2 becomes 32 and we apply square root on negative term as well it will be written as square root of minus 1 and it is divided by 2 and further in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as 4 plus minus here we know about that the square root of 16 becomes 4 times of square root of 2 and square root of minus 1 becomes iota further we break this fraction and we ap apply 2 separately on both of these two values and you get here 2 times 2 becomes 4 uh, so we have the values of x are 2 plus minus this is also 2 times 2 becomes 4 and we get here 2 times of square root of 2 into iota these are the other two complex roots of the given equation and we have x is equals to minus 3 be the only one real root of the given equation so these are the three roots of the given equation and this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos